This is a HeadGum Original. What is this, a new If I Were You podcast? Well, kind of. These are episodes that we're living behind our Patreon for the last five years, and we figured, why not release some of the best ones onto this feed to reward those of you that never gave up, that never unsubscribed. So please enjoy this classic episode of If I Were You, recorded at our old studio in 2018. Epic. What are you looking at? I'm <laughs> uh, no, just fucking around on my phone. <laughs> fucking around? This is the beginning of the app, man. Let's yeah, fucking no, I... get into it. What no. are you looking up or I was just, checking some I was like, stuff? <laughs> no, I was refreshing uh, Instagram stories. Not really anything. <laughs> yeah, not really anything. I got to the end, so I Let's was like... Let's go, baby. This then... is If I Were You, a video bonus Thursday episode. I'm going to just check out my like, Discover <laughs> tab to see if there's anybody right. new to follow. Discover cause... tab? Fuck, yeah. man. That, well, it sounds like you're, like, on Twitter. bored. <laughs> it what? really seems like you're bored or some shit. I'm bored. No, I'm, I'm bored. <laughs> uh, like, I'm bored with... You're killing time? I'm bored with you. <laughs> yeah. Do we... Uh, or is it started? Yes. Uh, no, it started. We did the theme okay. song, and now we're recording. So this let's is do, part of the episode. Right. So let's just do the first <laughs> first question, and then... And then what? And then, <laughs> I have to respond and then to we'll an email quickly. And the second quick. and third. <laughs> okay. Sure. Don't you? Keep, I'm literally you keep phoning it in like these a days. Double, yeah, you are yeah. phoning it in. You're doing a lot of double takes. Just don't mm-hmm. look at your phone. <laughs> you're done. It just you changed from 1242 it. to 1243. It's kind of interesting. Why? If you're done with your feeds, like Twitter, all refreshed. Instagram, yeah. all refreshed. No emails coming so in. You no don't text. have anything. So then you can look at the lock screen. For what? Um, well, because the numbers change. <laughs> That's not like an alert. That's not a notification. It doesn't have to be an alert. It's like a change. It's like a... What was your screen time last week? It says it gives you your weekly screen time. What was it? 22... <laughs> 22 hours. 22 hours. That's so much. Most of it's in the productivity sleep. tab, though. But I guess that's just like what they call being on the Chrome browser, which is Are you lucky. on your phone when you sleep? I don't sleep. <laughs> it's awful for you. If I sleep for two hours, I'm not on my phone then. <laughs> two hours a day? Two hours a night. Oh, so- yeah, that's the same shit. I'm talking about a full day. That includes day and night. Right, okay. Which is kind of weird, I guess. Yeah. But you're not sleeping enough is what I'm I trying to say. I sleep for two hours at night, <laughs> obviously. Close your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you got like dental work done or something? <laughs> had a root canal. A lot of crowns. <laughs> <laughs> All crowns, one fang. <laughs> you shaved it down. Mm-hmm. Like I the... filed my t- I forked my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> like the drummer from when are the bassist from Limp Bizkit? Who was that guy? Oh, he had like Wes? the black, yeah, the black <laughs> eye, the uh, the fully black eyes. I don't think he forked his tongue though. <laughs> That'd have been so sad if he'd made permanent changes to his face for Limp Bizkit. What's his net worth? Is he still fine? Is he? It's is not he Wes making Bentley, cash? but it is Wes something. It's Wes. Wes from Limp Bizkit. Wes Borland. Borland? That's right. Wes Al Borland. Borland's son. All right. Wes Borland celebrity net worth. Yeah. What are you guessing? Over under seven million. Under seven million. Wes five Bo- million. Net worth. Wow. I did really good with the line. It says he has a net worth of eight million. Wow. That's pretty good. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but this guy invested wisely. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. He actually bought during the dip of the economic recession. Low-risk stocks and bonds. <laughs> he owns a four-bedroom in Park Slope. An ETF account. <laughs> uh, there he is. He was an early <laughs> robo-investor. <laughs> he got into crypto super early and, and got cashed out. out. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good on you, Wes Borland. Uh, all right. This is If I Were You, an advice podcast after all. Mm-hmm. It's not just financial advice, though we are well-equipped to give that. That's correct. Uh, we're also helping people out of their normal sticky situations, like uh, this person right here, a lady. We'll give her a lady's name. Oh, um, uh, just like any... Any, like a female even just guitarist like a girl's, or something. Yeah, oh, like a rock okay. and roll. A rock and roll Yeah. Um, like, who's the um, West Portland, but, like, ladies? Oh, yeah, I would guess I would say, I mean, 
Cheryl Crow never did like the freaky. Oh, you know what? Uh, Courtney Love. That's cool. Is probably a little bit more. All right. of Courtney the, Love. Of the band. Right. Okay. I just turned 25, and unfortunately, I'm still a virgin. I'm not afraid of sex or think of it as scary in any way. I've done plenty of other things leading up to it. I was just a late bloomer and a little picky. Anyway, I've kind of been trying to dump my virginity on this first guy I have sexual chemistry with because I'm honestly tired of not going through with it, and I really don't want to make it a big deal. I recently matched with a guy on Hinge, and we hit it off. Texting, Snapchatting, and all that stuff. Nice. And he seemed pretty down to clown. Hey. We went so far as to text a few times. Sexed a few times, I should say, and have sent nudes back and forth. Okay. But here's the twist. Turns out this guy is a virgin, too. And for some reason, I'm rethinking the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> How dare he be a virgin as well? What I wanted to just be a romp in the hay has now, the, uh, has now has to be like this big deal because it's both of our first times. And I know it's so hypocritical, but now I'm wondering why this seemingly normal 24-year-old guy has never found anybody to fuck. <laughs> what are you talking Even though about? I haven't either. <laughs> All right, so at least you're self-aware. <laughs> Am I terrible for kind of being turned off by this virgin status even though I'm in the exact same boat? I'm hoping to do it with some someone more experienced and just go along for the ride, pun intended. Should I go for it anyway? How do I make this experience not feel like we're two 16-year-olds groping around in the dark? Thanks. Okay. If well, you were a 25-year-old virgin, would you want to sleep with an expert? Or would you want to sleep with a virgin as well? I think I'd probably want to sleep with another virgin or at least somebody that didn't have a ton of experience. Yeah. I would think that sleeping with someone that was like uh, a Lothario would be a little bit intimidating. It's hard because like when you're playing video games, you don't want to play against an expert because you're like, this isn't fun. Right. I'm just, they're too good. But if you're playing like basketball, you also don't want to play against like someone who's amazing. Yeah. But if you're like collaborating, like if it was me and you and we were doing something in a in a collaborative way, I'd want the if we were topic to be yeah to be something you were good at. Right. Like if it, if this was an art competition, I'd want my partner to be really good. I think so. Is so sex more like a video game or more like art? Very interesting question. Thank you for positing it. Sex is video art. game. This is what the Down. fundamental difference between the both of us. <laughs> I think it's art. You think it's a video game? It's Tetris. I guess and you're I'm... trying to make the perfect piss piece fit. <laughs> <laughs> you have weird sex. And I have a you long have straight sex. one and you got a little fucking T. Yeah, that's right. Your dick looks like the small ass. You have a fucking square, man. <laughs> the goat piece. Um I I wonder if it's like if if she was if she had matched with somebody who she found out was like a player, like somebody who hooked up with a lot of people, if she would be talking herself out of it in the exact same way. Like it almost makes me think that she's just it, nervous. That you're, yeah, that maybe you're just not ready or that you're, if you, you're nervous and you need to like relax and, you know. I think two virgins is good because you're, you can't be like, uh, you're not in your head about like, oh shit, I hope I'm doing this wrong because they also don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, there's also nothing that says you have to have sex with this guy. Yeah. Like, I, she made this promise to herself that like, I'm going to fuck the next person that I have even remote sexual chemistry with. But you guys can just do other stuff leading up to sex. And if it's feeling good, if it's normal and nice, then you can have sex. Yeah. But would you but, recommend it or would you say, fine, wait for someone who's more experienced? I wouldn't say wait for someone who's more experienced, but I wouldn't say that like you need to make a decision whether or not to fuck this guy now when you haven't met him. Like, you, but you might as well not write it off is what I would say. Imagine sending nudes and sexting where you, one, have never met and two, have never had sex. Yeah, that seems, I mean, sending nudes, I feel like that time would have passed because now it's like the iCloud, it's everywhere instantly. Like now it's just like so clear that bad shit happens when you do. Like I understand why it happened initially. And like, the pictures are like, so good. We're like sending photos, it's sexy, it's yeah. Snapchat, it's whatever. But then like after the leaks, just stop doing this. <laughs> Everyone's, yeah. every, you've seen the devastation from it. And it's such high res too. It's not like a you blurry You can zoom in flip so phone. good. Yeah, you can really see the dick hole of it all. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you get your new phone? I thought you got a new phone. I did, but you remember I pulled my back last week? Uh-huh. 
Um, it just, everything felt like such a sure. huge effort. Mm. So for me to like open a box and like plug in a bunch of wires and like download, I just like didn't have the energy for anything. And Interesting. I, so I'm going to, I'm going to do it next week when I go back, when I go back home. Are you going to transfer the nudes or are you going to like delete this old phone and then start a nude with start, the nude? Yeah, I think I'll start fresh, but I'll start fresh by like taking a few photos Dick of my picks. asshole. Yeah, just so like uploading to the cloud Snapchat yeah. storage. That'd be kind of interesting to just have a photo of my asshole on my phone as your home screen or yeah. lock screen. No, 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 it would just be like in my in my stream. So yeah. if anybody, if anyone's like swiping, I'll be like, don't swipe, don't swipe. Oh, and hold then on, it's hold like, on, my ass. Yeah, and then it's like it's not just like a new. It's like straight up my asshole. Like it's a real punishment for swiping. You know what I mean? Someone else would have to take it if it was a true asshole photo. Right. You can't quite get it. I could perfect. Get it. You'd have to like because you want to be a little far away, dead on. You have a timer, self timer, and a mirror. Oh, that's cool. So you set Definitely. it down. Yeah. A few steps out. <laughs> Ass spread, or are you just goatee, bending over? Goatee style. <laughs> That's a good stakes for a bet. Loser has to just slide in an, an asshole photo. With a little sign that says, why did you swipe left? Would you, <laughs> would you rather have a photo of my asshole on your phone like that, where people can't tell if it's yours or my ass, or would you rather have a picture of your asshole on my phone? Where people couldn't tell if it was yours or mine? Yeah. I think yours. Because my everyone asshole would, on your phone, everyone would believe me if I said it was yours. yours. Like, I, it's not like I, somebody like, no man, that's your asshole. I would just be like, that's Amir's asshole. Yeah, but they would. Like, would they be like, why the hell do you have a picture of his asshole? He put it there. He's an idiot. <laughs> Delete I it. it. <laughs> no, I don't know how. It's a fucking you would try. you rather shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying I'd rather have a picture of an asshole on my phone as long as I don't as want it's a picture of my asshole, asshole in the wild. Phone. <laughs> I'd rather have any asshole on my phone. Than my asshole. I'm the oh. same. I'd rather have my m picture of my asshole on your phone because that way my my phone is clear of the holes. And there's no anus on my phone. I guess if it's like just the hole. No, you don't. You can't change your fucking mind. Take a picture of my grundle <laughs> and make it your lock screen. <laughs> my grundle. Because it has to be taint, hair, rectum. You're changing the rules now. <laughs> it has to be your home and or lock screen. <laughs> that's that's, that's you're, you're making additions. <laughs> It's an absolutely an addition. It's an amendment. All right, fine. Let's call the whole thing off. Okay. Have sex with a virgin. Well, just don't write it off. You don't have to do it. But you'd also, you shouldn't not do it because he's a virgin. Yeah, it's definitely fine that he's a virgin. Case in point, you also are. Check out Amir's asshole. No! <laughs> Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode of our show. Gosh. We've been ranting and raving about Squarespace for the past 10 years, and they've only gotten better. You can pretty much build an amazingly professional looking, if it's an online portfolio or maybe a website for somebody else, a website for an event you have coming up, you have something that you want to sell, uh, you want email campaigns, um, blogging tools, 24-7 award-winning customer support. You could do it all through Squarespace, and it's so simple, even Jake figured it out. That's right, and I can make fun of him because he's not here to defend himself. Actually, not here to defend himself.com. It's probably available if you want to buy that URL. Uh, or maybe you could buy the URL of a new baby in your life. Somebody has a child. Actually, I might, I might do that for Jake's child. Okay, scrap that. I'm going to steal that one f and hold it accountable for later. I'm going to do that, but if there's somebody else's name... In your life, you want to buy that.com. You can do it all through Squarespace. And if you go to squarespace.com slash if I were you, you can launch a trial for free. And when you're ready to, to pull the trigger and launch that website for real, just use that promo code if I were you to save 10%. You can save 10% off their already low, low prices if you just go to that squarespace.com slash if I were you. Mess around, check out that free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, just use that promo code if I were you. Sounds good? I thought so. You're going to have to build a website soon enough, and when you do, just remember Squarespace. Thanks, Squarespace. Thank you to See The Thing Is for sponsoring this episode of our show. That's right, our podcast is being sponsored by another podcast. Wow, what a time to be alive. See The Thing Is is a podcast hosted by Grammy Award-winning R&B artist Bridget Kelly and media personality and podcast trailblazer Mandy B. 
Uh, twice a week, Bridget and Mandy have very funny, fun, interesting, informative conversations about political things, pop culture things. Uh, they talk about relationships between themselves and other people. Um, they're not afraid to get controversial, but it's always very fun and funny. And their opinions on the show are real and brought to you by um, not only themselves, but guests that they like to call their friends with benefits. So if you're interested in hearing them talk to Big Frida, Remy Ma, uh, perhaps Chloe Bailey, uh, check them out. It's See the Thing Is, which you can follow and subscribe to on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or on YouTube. They got new episodes every Tuesday and Friday uh, and video episodes on their YouTube on Wednesday and Saturday. So check them out. It's See the Thing Is. All right, question two. Hey, bitches, I'm a 19-year-old dude, and I'm currently a junior at Minnesota. Fred Durst. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I've gotten myself into a pretty sticky situation, and I really need your sage advice. So here's the thing. There's this girl that I've been hanging out with as of late, and one of the first times we got drunk and fucked. See, this guy's completely different from the first yeah. one. They're already fucking each other the first time. I made a pizza after, and this girl didn't tell me that she was a vegetarian until after I cooked the meat lover's pizza. So being <laughs> the gentleman I am, I offered her the crust, and she gratefully accepted. Wow, what a gentleman you are. You, you made, made a, a pizza she couldn't eat after <laughs> having sex with her. <laughs> and then gave her the crust. crust. <laughs> the saddest part of the pie. Seems harmless, right? Wrong. Since then, she has taken this as a meaning that she gets the crust every time. And I'm talking every time I make a pizza when we get pizza at a restaurant. Now, I'm not some fat ass who needs every last bite of crust, but the crust is a great part of the pizza, and sometimes I'd like to enjoy it. My question is this. How do I tell this girl that I want the crust sometimes without having to hurt her feelings and ruining this cute little quirk we have in our fledgling relationship? All advice appreciated. Thanks. Come Why? to Minnesota. Why do people like crust? I like the crust. It's the worst. It's so bad. It's... I like it because it's like, it's a nice, like, uh, non cheesy bite that ends the slice. <laughs> <laughs> It's and if the it's fucking good crust, ass end of the pizza. You're not eating the crust? No, I would never eat the crust. What it's about on foul. a sandwich? You're eating the crust? Yeah, on the sandwich, it's fine because it's still, it has all of the, on a sandwich, on a good sandwich, the filling goes right to the crust. And if it doesn't, are you just discarding the crust? Yeah, I'm not going to just eat crust. <laughs> I like the crust. And if it's got a bubble and a little bit of sauce, that's well, a good crust. A little bit of sauce, I understand. <laughs> but like when it's just dry. You're just leaving it there. Of course. Of course. But what's wrong with bread? You'll eat bread. I'll eat bread, but I don't want it to be. I'll eat bread, but I'll have it with. I'll have it be toasted with with butter and with uh, with some peanut butter or or with um, some Vegemite. Shout out to my Aussie friends. <laughs> what is this some accent you're cheese. doing? Some I'm, Vegemite. Some Vegemite, mate. <laughs> but I mean, Christ. You, Crust. You know, you're just having dry bread. Mm -hmm. Dry rye, <laughs> toasted hot, brown. Around the town? Dry rye Miss American pie. Pizza pie. Pie crust is fine. Uh, so you're saying this guy should just sacrifice crust? No, I'm saying if you don't want her to eat the crust, like if you make an entire pie, one that she can eat, she can probably have her slices and her crust, and you have your slices and then eat your crust. <laughs> it will not come up. Also, if you have two slices, like, and you have both crusts on the, on the plate, she's not going to be able to eat both right away. You know, like you have you to can, eat it before she did. Yeah, you can like give her a piece of the crust. You can establish uh, a way where you start eating the crust slowly but surely. You'll have a bite of your crust before you give it to her. You'll have two bites. You're giving her half a crust before you know it. You've changed the dynamic of the relationship where you have at, at least three quarters of your crust, and she has a bite to keep up with the cuteness. But on a whole pie, that's a lot of crust, bud. You'll have enough crust. Do you prefer the square slice? No, no crust. Square yeah. pie. I want. I want the middle slice. I I love a Sicilian pie that's all cheese and sauce. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Would you rather have two slices of pizza or two bites of every slice? Two bites of every slice. <laughs> I don't. You do want that the sometimes <laughs> at a family I, style restaurant. There's no. You said, need can we for a eat crust. this rat style? It's the shit and. <laughs> <laughs> for me, so to have two bites of every slice and then I'm out for the day. <laughs> you know the table. The table in the middle, that's the goat bite. The, the one the circle. Of every Yeah. <laughs> I, want it, I want that to be a little cutter. Cut everybody. 
uh, oh my God, you want the cheese, you want the sauce, you want the bread, <laughs> but you don't need just bread. Otherwise, <laughs> I'd have bread, not pizza. It's a nice dessert to the pizza slice. I prefer the crust to the actual slice. I think the crust is, dare I say, the best part. That's insane. You just like fucking plain ass bread? No, not plain bread. Plain crust. Do you think most people eat the crust or don't? I think most people... If I'm throwing up a Twitter poll. Interesting. I think most people... I would guess they do. Yes! But it's close. I'm normal. I think it's like 55-45. Or maybe it's like 60-58. It's too high. I I think it's like 65% eat the crust and then like 55% don't. I know. That's what you were misspeaking and you clarified to a worse percentage. That's 110%. At most, 100% of people answer the quiz. Okay. So 100% of people weighing in. 30% 30% don't eat the crust. Right. 40% so 70, no, do. 70% do. Because there's only two options. It's 100 oh. minus whatever you thought was nice. the... <laughs> not That's eating nice. the crust. Awesome. No, you don't... I, don't gonna, I still don't get it, but it's okay. fine. 100% of people answer the quiz. Obvi- oh, my God. Come on. <laughs> 100 minus 10. <laughs> you don't know nothing. Oh, no. I don't want to guess because I feel like I'll... <laughs> Yeah, it's you shouldn't a... have to guess is what I'm saying. It shouldn't be a guess. <laughs> right, but I feel like if I guess, it's going to be wrong. Like, if I just took a shot in the dark and it was you right. You don't have to. Even if you got it right at this if point, I was like, I'll know you haven't learned anything. If... The fact that you're calling it a shot in the dark. Right. If I just two plus four? If I take a stab at that, if I'm like, if I'm like eight, if I think it's eight and it's, it's not... right, then it's like, oh, Jake actually is smart. But if I, I feel like chances are, I wouldn't are, think that now. Chances are wrong. I would never. Think chances that. are that it's that it's like yes, either chances are wrong because it's five like or you... six or seven, and then I'm like, and then I'm, I know that it's less than ten. It saddens cause... me to hear this part of you. <laughs> I don't. I just don't want to come across like a, like a fool. Do you see? There's like little squares on your shirt. Yeah. Could you count how many squares there are? <laughs> oh no! You're doing it to yourself. Oh my god, you're a fucking toddler. Oh, how do you talk? Ah. Oh, you're crying. <laughs> what? Ah. You're hurting your back again. <laughs> uh, all right, eat the crust. Don't worry about it. That's what we're telling this guy. Yeah, I would say eat the crust. This guy has a bruised dick. Question the third. We'll call him Richard. Cautionary tale for question number one. A bruised dick for this thick prick make the ladies more than sick. Mm -hmm. I noticed a bruise on the base of my member this yesterday after having some rough drunken sex the night before. Ha. Ha, indeed. I am writing with one hand as the other one is currently icing the base of my penis trying to accelerate the healing process. My problem is this. I am currently on a bit of a roll with the ladies, and there are four girls who I've been hooking up with for the past month. Wow. How do I refrain from having sex with any of them without alienating them completely so I don't re-injure my little general? Should I tell them about the bruise? And has this ever happened to you, Jake? (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry, pal. But uh, you can make fun of me for not knowing math if you want. It's fine. He's right. My dick's never been... I never had a bruised dick either, though. I did have like an like a hurt dick once. Or I feel like you'd one. have chafing more yeah, than chafing. bruising. Yeah, but that's from jang o too much. Right. You fucking pervert. <laughs> you little lonely little prick. Fapping too much. Take your dick out right now. I can I have sex it. and still be lonely, and I resent that. Okay, <laughs> I was definitely lonelier when I was single. Of course, was having plenty of sex. Um, so bruised dick. Are you familiar with this thing? Have you had friends that suffered from this? I feel like I've heard bruised dick before. It must be like hard and then like sprained or bent or the muscle gets torn or I don't know. It I mean, there, there's, there's like, you can really hurt your dick. You can break it, you know, there's like. But if there's no bone there, what are you breaking? I guess the, like the, uh, the veins that carry the blood to it or something. There's Jesus. like cartilage in your dick, isn't there? Like the same way that there is cartilage in your ear. I'll say no. Okay. Ear, harder, cartilage, dick, just muscle. Just dick is just muscle, and veins, of course. Search if there's cartilage in your dick. All right, hold on. <laughs> Whoa, Ooh. God, it's so tiny. <laughs> it's an ear. <laughs> I take a picture of your ear and asshole down there. Is there cartilage in your 
Dick is not even like top five okay. autocorrect. Well, Shoulder, penis? ankle, ribs, neck, and wrist. Okay. Despite all the charming euphemisms, your penis doesn't contain any bones or even cartilage. Instead, the penis is made up of blood vessels and spongy tissue. Mm. Can you break your penis was the question. Interesting. Uh, but you can. Yeah. You can still break a penis. It sounds like a loud pop. <gasps> uh, and then there's a lot of pictures. Oh, Jesus. Sort of cross sections. It looks like a little fly. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I guess I don't know what my advice is here. I don't think it's hard to like... You like, don't have like, to tell you anyone about. Out? Would you want to hang out with girls and be like, "Sorry, I can't have sex. I bruised my dick." No, of course not. <laughs> That's you can. I but actually like... bruised the dick from fucking all y'all do hard. <laughs> no offense, all... all four of you. <laughs> Invite four of them to dinner. Can we do? Can we get froyo? <laughs> And, and, uh, I'll put, and I'll get one one cup for me and another cup to put on the base of my cock. <laughs> Which one of you broke my dick? <laughs> Let's figure it, it you, out. Marcia? <laughs> like some sort of weird weakest link episode. <laughs> the weakest link is your dick. <laughs> the weakest prick. Uh, uh, or yeah. would you not hang out with any lady? Or would you hang out and be like coy about it? So it's like. I feel like if you're balancing hooking up with four different people, you can pretty easily balance not. See, like you're already good at not seeing three of them. Yeah. Right. Like just do that for two weeks. and But instead of like hanging out with. One and ignoring the other three, just ignore all four for a few weeks, and your penis will be fine. Maybe absence will make their hearts grow fonder anyway. Yeah. Or what if you hang out with one and be like, you don't even try to sleep with them? Then it's like, oh, it shows that you're a nice guy. Well, that's dangerous if you don't want to like date them. Oh, because then it's like, because then it's like it's too serious of a relationship. So you're saying take a hiatus. Yeah, just uh, stay abstinent for two weeks. It'll it'll be nice. It'll clear your head. Why not? (laughs) And the head of your dick. <laughs> That's what I meant. Really? <laughs> no. <So. laughs> pun, it was a, a pun unintended moment. <laughs> Count the rectangles on your shirt again. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. <laughs> it's not that many. Fuck. I, I hate how rehearsed that sounded, too. <laughs> I had been doing it in my head. Yeah. Since we the had head talked of your about dick. it. <laughs> Pun intended. Uh, all right, that's it. Three questions, no ads. The end. This is, uh, after all, a bonus Thursday video Patreon version of our show. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mm-hmm. Of course, we'll be back, as always, next week. Bye, everybody. If I were you. was a HeadGum original.